G'day guys, Gordon again, Blue Tongue Industries. I wanted to talk about two of my personal favorites as portable pressure cleaners and demonstrate the difference between a PSI rating and a flow rating on these two similar machines. We're gonna carry out a few tests and also run a few different surface cleaners of different sizes to give you an understanding on these two different machines here at Blue Tongue Industries. So the first machine we're gonna discuss is 3500 PSI at 15 liters per minute. This is an industrial version in a roll frame. Why is it industrial? Reduction gearbox, low speed pump at 1450 RPM. Pneumatic tires, vibration isolating plate. So when this machine is running, it sits still. We can put a 30 or 60 meter hose reel on top and this will run all day, every day. Has the external unloader valve and I'll drop links below where we can bypass that and run that back to the tank or drop that to the ground to save overheating the pump. So we're gonna run this particular machine through its paces today. And to recap, at 3,500 PSI at 15 liters a minute. So the next machine in the range is still similar in compact size, running 3,000 PSI at 21 liters per minute, still with pneumatic tires and the vibration dampening plate. So this robust machine will take a 30 or 60 meter hose reel on top. Different to the first, the first had a reduction gearbox, putting the pump at about 1450 RPM. This is belt driven. So different setup in the way the machine's put together, but a low speed pump. The pump's not working hard, and this will run all day, every day as well. So let's discuss the two side by side. So 15 liters a minute, and you'll see the direct coupling of a garden hose to the inlet of the pump. The reduction gearbox at 1450 RPM, this particular machine will pull from a water tank. A direct drive machine spinning at three to 4,000 RPM needs a positive pressure for it to operate. But having a reduction gearbox will allow it at a low speed pump to pull from a tank. We've coupled directly to a garden hose. As you travel around doing your pressure cleaning within your business, you'll find water flow and pressure does vary. So if you're not getting the adequate pressure from job to job, even at 15 litres a minute, one good tip is two garden hose inlets to the machine. So that's taking two garden taps, putting it into a Y piece, and then directing that into your machine. So if your pressure's down, if you can feel the oscillation back through the gun, technical tip, do try that on your next job. So, you can see on this particular machine, a three quarter inlet. At 21 liters per minute, it's gonna be very few and far between that you're gonna have enough water flow from a garden tap. So when we do custom setups, whether utes or trailers, at 21 liters in a minute, I'll often put a header tank to supply the pressure cleaning system. Low speed pump, as in belt driven. So this particular machine is going to pull from a water tank, which we'll call our header tank. So we've just fired up the 3500 PSI 15 litres a minute. Hole size is 040. So we'll give you an understanding of the pressure at 3500, 15 litres a minute with a 15 degree nozzle. So, 3,000 PSI at 21 litres a minute, pulling from the water tank. Even with the higher water flow, you can feel that straight up. So we're six litres a minute different, and 500 PSI less. We've got more flow. So the performance factors, you're really gonna pick up on it now. We're going to run through 
they're all going to run a 12 inch surface cleaner adequately fine we're going to run the 16 inch the 21 inch and we're going to push the boundaries and hook them up to the 30 inch just so you can compare between the three and see the limitations or positives between each particular machine so just to recap we 500 psi split and we've got six litres a minute difference between the two. Different parameters, and let's push these two machines to see how they perform. So 16 inch surface cleaner, 3,500 PSI, 15 litres a minute, at a whole size of 040. So as I fire that, without weight on it, I can tend to lift it and it'll come off the ground. So at a higher pressure than the next machine, at a lower flow. O four O nozzle size, let's run the next one. Next in line, 21 inch surface cleaner. We're on the 3500 PSI, 15 litres a minute. So, won't come off the ground. We can see the quality of clean with the larger surface cleaner. We'll take a look underneath. Let's move on to the next. So we are gonna push the love here massively. Just jumped up to the 30 inch, the 750 mil on the 3500 PSI 15 litre a minute machine. Let's see if we can turn it. That's a big surface cleaner for a little machine. We'll take a look. You can see the impact damage there between the different cleaners at the ferocity and, and the end result. So back on the 16 inch surface cleaner, we've just dropped or we've just gained from the previous surface cleaner six litres a minute, or we're just losing 500 psi losing 500 gaining six let's see how this goes on an 06 nozzle on a 16 inch surface cleaner you can feel the extra flush the extra rinse power there, about six litres a minute. And that extra flow makes that surface cleaner hover nicely. Here's another tech tip. When it winds down, I like to place each individual tip at the bottom to check that we're not blocked and we've got adequate water flow. So now on the 21 inch surface cleaner with 3000 PSI, 21 litres a minute. So we're Really going to see performance gains now with that extra flow. That extra six litres a minute. Last of all, the 30 inch 750 mil at 3000 psi, 21 litres a minute. So you can see as we go up in flow, the ability to handle a larger surface cleaner is done with a 
a lot more ease. And compared to the 15 litres a minute at 3,500 psi, having that extra six litres a minute does give you better flow, better application once we do jump up in the surface cleaners. So what did we actually just do? We ran two machines with different input parameters and different output pressures and flows and put them through different applications with different size surface cleaners. So depending on what you're doing, whether hard surface, house washing, soft washing and requiring a rinse, 15 litres at 3500 psi may do you on the reduction gearbox. If you're going to step up in your surface cleaners on that particular machine, you saw on the 16 inch it did very well, on the 21 inch it also did well. On the 30 inch you saw the aggressiveness and the quality of clean due to the size of the surface cleaner did start to reduce. But we can plug this 3500 15 litre a minute machine into a garden tap. The tech tip was if there's two hoses on that property, Y piece into the machine and you'll get a bit more out of it. If you wanted higher flow, we're going to drop in pressure and you need more water for a rinse in a house wash application or if you wanted to push the larger surface cleaners, the 21 litre a minute 3000 psi machine may be for you. The disadvantage is you do need to look at water cartage or adequate water flow for this particular machine. It's going to be pretty rare on site where you're going to have enough water coming into this 21 or any 21 litre a minute machine where you can work all day uninterrupted. So different machines to suit different applications. I hope you got a bit from this video today. Um, check out all our other videos at bluetongueindustries.com.au. Uh, the YouTube site has a lot more in genres and playlists so you can see all the videos under that YouTube channel. If you like this please give us a thumbs up and um, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks guys.